Lady Gaga is a garbage actress. She's a she's garbage. She sucks. She's trash. It's nah. This was a miss. I admire you for for, for taking the leap. I would not have advised you to do it, but th- this was a miss. This, the, the, this was a miss. It was the musicals did not work. Without working Phoenix's performance, this film is like a two star. This is a special film for me. Why is it special? I was born on October 4th. I was born on October 4th. So October 4th, 2019, this was one of my, the best birthday presents I've ever had. Easily one of the, my, the best ever birthday presents. Um, so people say, okay, this is... Like if you watch King of, of Comedy, people say Taxi Driver, no. Because... King of Comedy, great film. You have to watch it. And it's one of like the underrated classics of Scorsese. This borrows a lot from King of Comedy, but it's its own film. Um, different, interesting, provocative. In my view, in my view, we agree, it is the best film based off a comic book property. Not the best comic book movie, but the best film based off a comic book property because from beginning to end, it was a film. No gags, no superhero things, no weird equipment, no one-liners, just a pure film that borrowed so much from the 70s. And Joaquin Phoenix gave one of the greatest performances I've ever seen. Now, I still believe his best performance is in Gladiator. That's for me, it's still his number one performance. He was outstanding in that film. But this is up there. This is, his performance in this was spellbinding. And it just reinforced why he is truly one of the greatest actors of his generation. This film did not need a sequel. Did not need, did not need similar to Gladiator. This the way it ended was boom. It's, it's it has a beginning, middle, end. We did not need any more. So no, nobody asked for a sequel. Nobody needed a sequel. I didn't need a sequel. I've got the DVD right there with me. Boom. I'm fine. I'm good. But they went ahead with the sequel. Now, you see, I don't mind if you try to swing for the fences. I don't mind that. You see, art is about trying to take risks. Okay? It's not, again, I know people will be angry with me because I keep bringing up this, this film. Deadpool and Wolverine is pretty much everything I hate about the movie industry. Through another one, um, Force Awakens, or as or rise of Skywalker, where it feels like it's made by a committee. It's manufactured, it's pre-rendered, and it's just done to tick different boxes so all the quadrants of the of the of the audience are catered for. That is not art. Rise of Skywalker, Force Awakens is not art. Deadpool and Wolverine is not art. Art is about taking risks. Bro, Megalopolis was not a good film. That was not a good film, but that's art. Sometimes you hit it, sometimes you don't. So I applaud Todd Phillips for saying, I'm going to make this a, a musical. I'm going to go different and make this a musical. I didn't think that was a good idea. And my big bro actually made a very good point. He said that there is a way that if you make this a musical, it could work, but you have to get it right. And it is very, very tricky. And I was like, I wouldn't advise it, but there is a film to be made where this is a musical and it works. Think The Nightmare Before Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas, it's a a musical, but it's got an edge to it. It's got a darkness to it. There is still that kind of sinister nature. So despite them singing, it still keeps with a very edgy aesthetic. So I thought, okay, this could be a musical, but you're sort of elevating the warped, psychotic, sociopathic nature of Arthur Fleck. But again, it's tricky. It's tricky. (sighs) I don't even know how to address this, man. Let me start with the good stuff. Let Let me, let me, let me start nice. You know, let me start nice. Let me start nice. Lady Gaga is a fantastic singer. Fantastic. 
poker face. She's a quality singer, pianist, quality. So shout out to, is it yeah, Akon who, who founded her? Great musical talent. And I get what Todd Phillips was thinking. She, I believe she was nominated for that film with um, Bradley Cooper. So in the Bradley Cooper film, in the Gucci film. So she has acting credits. So Todd Phillips was thinking that we didn't even have to bother with the singing. She's already an amazing singer. She seems she can act. Oh, this, this can work. Again, Lady Gaga is a fantastic singer. <sighs> Lady Gaga is a garbage actress. She's a, she's garbage. She sucks. She's trash. I mean, again, I don't want to be I'm, guys. As a as a guy who is passionate to the core about movies, I have to keep it a, a, a stack. I can't. I don't know any other way of, to not keep it a stack. Hence, why I would be I would be a horrible movie critic working in the industry because I don't know how to be like. Oh well, well. I would never want to interview actors or act actresses because I'm sorry, I can only keep it a stack. Never, ever act again. She should never be given an acting role again. She ruined this film. This film has issues. And we'll get to the issues of this film. She was the worst thing about this film. There were moments in this film where I couldn't even watch the screen. It was so cringe. It was so bad. It was so awkward. I was like, Ugh. And here's the thing. We'll get to, to the musicals and the issue of the musicals. Forget that. When it was just pure acting. You know what it's like? It's like an expert actor acting with a rookie who's taking acting lessons. Because how next to Joaquin Phoenix? Who, you see, it's one thing acting next to Bradley Cooper, who, Bradley Cooper, he's decent, he's not great. There's another thing acting next to Joaquin Phoenix. Because that just exposed her as to just how bad she is not. She, oh, she, oh my God. Just the delivery of the lines, her facial expressions. I was like, no. And, it, and don't blame, it's not directing. Everyone else in the film was quality. A huge shout out to Brendan Gleeson. Brendan Gleeson was great. Brendan, he was one of the highlights of the film. Brendan Gleeson was superb. I think, yeah, I think that's her name. I think it's her name, Catherine Keener. I think it's Catherine Keener. She was in, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, Being John Malkovich. She was in Being John Malkovich. She, she plays the lawyer for Arthur Fleck. She was good. Oh, she was good. Like, she's, she's always good. But again, yeah, she was good. She was good. Like, and also, the, I forgot what his name is. I think he's a new actor who plays Harvey Dent. He was really good. He was actually better than Aaron Eckert. Everybody else was, that is why it was so frustrating. Everybody else was really good. She stuck out like a sore thumb. When you see what Brendan Gleeson is doing, what Catherine Keener is doing, what Wacken Phoenix is doing, and we'll get to him. She was so bad. Here's the thing. I believe that Todd Phillips caught many of our scenes because Todd Phillips watched the footage and I was like, at the end of the day, it's my name on this film. And he was like, bro, I screwed up. Hindsight is 2020, but I wish Todd Phillips called half and say, yo, H I'm thinking of casting Lady Gaga. Great singer, she can act. I'm like, Todd, no. get an actress. And Emma Stone exists. And Emma Stone exists. And there's so, pick any actress. Pick any, pick any freaking actress. They're better than Lady Gaga because those are actresses. And just get them to sing. Because <laughs> Okay, let me let me try and explain this to you guys. There were moments where there was a really dramatic scene. And I was like, the film was really building up. I was like, oh, wow. This film has really gotten into a particular dramatic bag. And I was like, oh, what's going to happen next? And in the very next scene, it's a Lady Gaga concert. Guys, I swear to you, when you watch this film, it's like you are in a Lady Gaga concert. Not Harley Quinn being Harley Quinn and playing that character and being with it. No, because it felt as if I was taken out of this film. Like, oh. We're in a Lady Gaga concert. <laughs> this isn't Joker 2 or, in the, or this is not Gotham City. This isn't Harley Quinn. No, this is Lady... And that's the issue. That wasn't Harley Quinn. She did not play a character there. 
that was a Lady Gaga having a concert. It, I mean, I mean, what a mess. What a mess. And you see, Todd Phillips, there were moments where the musical walked. There were moments where, oh, this is because there's a particular musical number that's like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, yo, yeah, yeah. And you just wish that it's carried on in that aesthetic. But guys, there are some musical where it's like, no, Todd, this is no. <laughs> Because the, the issue that you have is it just doesn't flow well with the film. Because the film goes, goes to such dark places. It goes to such crazy places that when the musical comes in, it undercuts the drama that you've created from those dramatic scenes. So ultimately, so this, it's nah. This was a miss. I admire you for, for, for taking the leap. I would not have advised you to do it, but th this was a miss. This, the, this was a miss. It was the musicals did not work. Like some worked, most did not work. Most did not work. Um, like <sighs> guys, it's hard for me to put it in words just how bad Lady Gaga was in this. You have to see, believe it. She was she was trash. She was trash. Like she was just bad. And you play such a crucial character that is key to the Arthur Fleck character. And you play it, it's so bland, so flat, so one-dimensional. I told you there were times where I was like, this is just so, I felt uncomfortable even watching it. I felt uncomfortable watching it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because I'm just thinking about it now. But guys, man, Joaquin Phoenix is an amazing actor. Tickets from me, as a guy who once upon a time wanted to become a professional actor, and a guy who, for several years, did short films, acting school, writing films, being in films, all that kind of stuff. So when I watch films, of course, I watch films and I look at all the different aspects, but a big aspect I focus on is acting, because that is what I sort of did and wanted to be at one time. Without Joaquin Phoenix's performance, this film is like a two-star. He alone takes this film up a star because really, ultimately, this film is a... Nah. I'm, I'm, I'll get that towards, but... Like, there are just moments in this film where it's like, bro, this film could have been pretty dynamic. It's, and that is just the frustration because the, films, the film goes to some places... And Joaquin Phoenix takes the character in some interesting destinations that just say, if a few changes were made to the story and the script, this could have been a pretty dynamic sequel. A really dynamic sequel. But, not enough. But, but look, again, Joaquin Phoenix, I mean, what he does acting-wise is just, like, stuff he does in the courtroom, man. Again, like, there's one... As we, so I'm not a fan of, 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 of musicals, but there was one musical number, or maybe two where I was like, bro, it's like, this, this is interesting. But he's acting outstanding, outstanding. And yet again, it just shows that, yeah, he is arguably the best actor of his generation and an absolutely, absolutely outstanding actor. Because I think there's always this bit about um, the DiCaprio, so having an, an argument on land about the DiCaprio. And the difference between DiCaprio and Joaquin Phoenix is, you see, Joaquin Phoenix doesn't have the range of a Day-Lewis, a Gary Oldman, or like a John Voight. Guys who can play different kinds of roles. But when Joaquin Phoenix is in his bag, the master, gladiator, joker, dude is different level, bro. The dude is a different level. Like it's similar to like a Denzel or a Jack Nicholson. Just put them in their bag. Woo! Different, man. Different. Um, you know, as I said again, ultimately, you can say that. So if, so, it's such a, so if someone asks me that, did you like this film? There are aspects of this film that I really liked. And the aspects of this film that I despised. That's how I was really, that's why, because I was even speaking to like my director friend and I said, yo, you have to watch it. And he said, okay, what did you think? And I said to him that 
I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Like, there are moments in this film that I despised. That I was like, this is trash. This is bad. This doesn't work. This is just horrible. There are moments in this film that were horrible. There are moments in this film that are bloody amazing. Ah, oh, wow, this is pretty crazy. You put it all together. <sighs> it's a weird one. Okay, this is the best way I do it. I don't think I could watch the film again because Lady Gaga is so trash and she's in it for so long. And all of the musical numbers don't, don't hit. But there are particular scenes I don't want to watch again. So there are just particular scenes with Brendan Gleeson, things with Brendan Gleeson and Joaquin Phoenix, and a lot of scenes with Joaquin Phoenix that I don't want to watch again. Most of the stuff in the court I don't want to watch again. So, um, but I think Todd Phillips will, I think he will realize that he, Todd Phillips knows he made a mistake casting Lady Gaga, he knows. Because I can tell there were scenes cut from the film. There were scenes cut from the film. Because what, is, what, 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 what they tell you in a filmmaking is editing, that's the film. So when you shoot, you shoot like for four, five, six, six hours. And then those four, five, six hours, you have to now condense it down to two hours. So editing is really the film. That is the film that you're really making. So I am sure there is a lot of Lady Gaga stuff that's on the cutting room floor. Because if it feels as if there should be more scenes. I believe that Todd Phillips was in the editing room and was like, this chick can't act. She can sing. She can't act. And I'm sorry, I have to cut around her. And I've just got to promote one more work in Phoenix because the, these scenes don't work. I've been guys, I told you, man. Lady Gaga, Jesus Christ. I mean, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking of just scenes behind. So look, overall, man... Uh, I don't know, I feel weird, man, because I'm like, this film could have been something. This film could have been something. Um, why why the fudge did he have to cast Lady Gugu Gaga? So I mean, I'll leave you with this thought here. This is my thoughts, and this is my last thing. Yeah, it'll be fine. Please never give Lady Gaga any acting roles. Again, she's, she's, she's not a good actor. She's not. I told you, I didn't watch, I think, yeah, A Star is Born. I didn't watch that. I watched Gucci um, with Jared Leto and Adam Driver. I, I watched that. She was she was trash in that as well. I was like, no, she can't. Because that was when I watched where people said, oh, she's so good in it. I said, no, she's not good. No, she can't act. She can't act. Simple as that. She can't act. So I don't know what we're saying here. But yeah, look, man. Okay, so would I recommend this? Guys, I'll be real with you. I wouldn't recommend this. Even if you say, oh yeah, would you recommend watch it? No, I wouldn't. Because even if you're into musicals, it's, never, it's not even a good musical. I told you, like, I'm not a big musical guy, but I admit, Sound of Music is a great musical. Um, the King and I is a great is a great musical. So I can, even if I'm not into musicals, I can appreciate really good musicals. So... If you're not into musicals, you will despise this. If you're into musicals, there are better musicals out there. So, I don't know who would want to watch this. Now, if you just like films that are a bit weird, that are bold and that take a risk, fair enough. <sighs> you know, probably we should probably have like a spoiler review. Maybe if we have like a spoiler review, we can maybe talk more like in a spoiler open hang up now. But um, bro, look, man, like the vid, subscribe, one love, man. <laughs>